Welcome to NBA Today, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. What's up, y'all? Welcome to NBA Today, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. I'm your girl, Chineo Gwimike, in for Malika Andrews. Y'all, this weekend was lit in the association. I mean, Oprah style. You get a game winner. You get an ankle breaker. You get a crazy dime. It was nonstop action. And I'm here, unfortunately, with Richard Jefferson on a Monday. And there is so much to unpack, and we will. But I want to start off first. What team won the weekend in your eyes, Richard? I know this is a rhetorical question because everyone against uh, Boston, both in overtime. And people are like, oh, look, at the end of the day, that just means that they are one of the most elite teams in this league. And they are balling. They are balling almost as good as your jacket on a Monday. That's a switch up for you. You need to button up a little bit, though. Oh, no. Uh, but also, y'all, so in case you missed it, Donovan Mitchell mm. has been playing at an MVP level mm. so far this year. But Matt Barnes, Matt Barnes, who was your MVP of the weekend? My MVP of the weekend, although he didn't play Saturday, he played Friday, and they say the weekend starts on Friday, so I'm going to give it to Giannis. <laughs> this guy's averaging 33 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, has his team off to an undefeated start without Chris Middleton. I don't think we talk enough about how this guy is a leader. Whether Welcome back to NBA Today. I'm back here with Ramona Shelburne, and let's get right to it. It's been five days since the Nets suspended Kyrie Irving after he repeatedly failed to apologize for promoting anti-Semitism. He's since then apologized on social media. With all that being said, Ramona, what is expected of Kyrie before he returns to the court? Well, the first thing he has to do is not just apologize on social Part media. Part of the conversation over the weekend was mm -hmm. centered around their search for their next head coach. Yeah. Anything on the latest there? Yeah, so they're, do they're still doing due diligence on Ime Udoka and trying to understand that situation as the as you would expect um, from the way his tenure in Boston ended and there was some expectation that deal could done, get done last week there's oh, tonight taking on the Mavs and for more on that let's send it over to Richard that oh my god grandpa he is today. grandpa on that hey. team he's uh, like the last holdover him and the trainer hey, hey, we gotta get RJ some pom-poms yeah we do oh, hey, some on, Cleveland man. Cavalier Come colors on. okay uh, you would be a salt and pepper daddy <laughs> if you had any salt and pepper I got anywhere no, no but hair got salt and pepper also let's give the kings some up they play tonight as well I'm about to catch a flight to go cover that game. Are you? But most oh, importantly, hold on, guys. Make sure you go out there and vote. Voting yes. is very important. No games tomorrow. Plenty of games tonight. So make sure you uphold your civic duty. I was a poll worker, an election clerk uh, Whoa, in 2020. Hey, I, was, oh, oh, I know oh, you're going to take it sideways. I know you're going to take it sideways. I know you're going to take it sideways. Make sure you go and I'm vote. I'm going to take it sideways. I'm going to take it sideways. I'm going to take it sideways. I'm going to take it sideways.